Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali if you're new and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Ali. I upload four videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. Okay, you guys, so for today's video, we finally have my full face of first impressions or try on haul or try on, we're trying, we're playing with new to me makeup and just new makeup in general. So yeah. This is um, the look that I created with, with all of that makeup. And I decided to start my video out like this today because when I was editing my chit chat, get ready with me. I kind of scared myself when I started editing and figured you guys probably got scared too and would like to see me start a video off with some makeup. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into this video. All right, you guys. So we are going to go ahead and get into some makeup. How do y'all feel about these? Like I didn't put curlers in them or anything. I just wet them and kind of wrapped my finger around and they came out in these big old ringlet curls. So yeah, anyways, we're gonna go ahead and pin these back so we can go ahead and get into applying some makeup. So I do have a primer, but because we are using a foundation that I've been playing around with for about two weeks, we are gonna go ahead and use my favorite primers because that's really the only thing that's not like a first, first impression is the foundation so we are going to go ahead however we do go in with my favorite favorite currently all-time favorite priming product y'all look funny <laughs> priming product which is the benefit benefit what the touch and soul no pore bloom prime essence and then my hard candy hydrating primer i look like i belong on a 100 dollars bill <laughs> curls right here that's so funny <laughs> i look funny my mouth is still sore okay so i do actually have a primer slash setting spray that we're going to try out today and this is the only spray that we're going to be using and this is the nyx bear with me spray i have been wanting to try this for the longest flipping time like since it came out because i'm a sucker for sprays i still currently excuse this pimple i still currently have a ton of sprays so it's just like, okay, that should be better. But now let's go ahead and, it looks like it sprays out a little aggressive. Well, don't like that spritzer. Maybe I got a bad one. I've had this makeup sitting there for weeks. Like when I was taking that break, I kept ordering makeup. And then my sister just sent me a ginormous box of makeup. Okay, the box is ginormous, but she shoved everything into one of the BoxyCharm no. Lux boxes and stuck it into a bigger no. box. So I was like, okay. Oh, she sent me a lot of stuff. I'll be using a few of those things today, but not very much out of there. Just a few of the things. But first, let's go ahead and get in. Go ahead and go in with brows. So, so the first thing I have for brows, um, Wet n Wild actually came out with new brow products. So I did go ahead and get this brow pencil in dark brown. And then they have their shaping gel. And I believe I got this one in clear. Yeah, I got it in clear. So anyway, let's go ahead and try these out. These remind me, or this reminds me of their um, brow pencil that they had out before they came out with their micro brow pencil. And I haven't used a wooden brow pencil since I used like their original wooden brow pencil. So let's just go ahead and see how this works. Okay, so for that to be a wooden brow pencil, like I really don't have many complaints about it right now. My only complaint like that I know before it even gets to that point is that it's not gonna have a point very often or for very long. So that would be my only gripe about it. But overall, the formula is really nice. Like it's not too creamy, but it's not too dry. And like it's just enough to at least give me what I'm looking for whenever I do my brows. Let's go ahead and go into cleaning them up. And for concealer, we are going to use the Il Maquillage Concealer. This is called the F Word. I'm, I'm F Word, I'm flawless. 
I'm like a little kid when it comes to bad words because I don't cuss anymore. So yeah, it says F word. I'm flawless. And I got mine in the shade number two. And so yeah, it looks super duper light, you guys like super light i probably could have gone up a shade but what i had noticed with their foundation is that it actually does get a little bit darker as it sits on your skin so like even the foundation will go on really light on me but it will end up being the perfect match for me so i figured maybe the concealer will do the same thing oh, we're just going to use this to clean up our brows today because let's be real this basically looks like stark white on me the sun is going in and out I do like how brightening this concealer is. Like, I feel like it really, like, compared, like, this eyebrow looks a lot more lifted than this eyebrow. So, I really like how bright it is. So, that is it for the brows. Like I said, I'm not mad at the brow pencil. I actually feel like it does look really good. Now, it can. It is leaning a little more red toned and that is my biggest issue with companies and getting towards the dark brown area of like brow pencils because to me when i think of dark brown i literally think of my hair color because my hair is not black but it's also not a red tone brown like it's truly just a dark chocolate brown maybe it's a brown black i don't know but that is my biggest issue with dark brown eyebrow products is that they always have more of a red tint to them rather than just being like a neutral brown or like i don't know neutral <laughs> so yeah i forgot eye tape so hold on real quick I'm sticking everything back in its packaging because i'm gonna do a haul after this Okay, so for eye primers, I did have you guys, I had you guys vote on the eye primers and it was a tie between the color CoverGirl and the Urban Decay. So I'm just gonna do one on each side. So do one side Urban Decay and then do one side CoverGirl. If the colors are just way too different, I'm not gonna do it. We'll just keep it pushing. So let me see if the CoverGirl one has any color to it. Oh yeah, it has a little bit of color to it and I think the Urban Decay one does too. Yeah, they're kind of pretty similar. So let's go ahead and get into that. Okay, so first of all, let me apply that. So you can tell by the wands which is which. The top one is Urban Decay and the bottom one is CoverGirl and they do look really, really similar. So with Urban Decay, I'm just gonna apply that one to my right eye. It feels really like emollient is that the word like not greasy but like there's definitely like some slip to it moisture i think kind of and then cover girl on this side cover girl is a little more thick than the urban decay one but same overall finish Ooh. cover girl one feels a little bit more tacky as well okay so you guys chose for me to use the BH Cosmetics Lunar U New Lunar New Year, and I, I don't agree with Lunar Solar, just that realm of stuff. I'm very cautious with, but avoid all of this. Like ignore all of this, and the inside of the palette is beautiful, beautiful. So. This palette retails for 20 or 22 bucks. I can't remember exactly. And so, yeah, this is a really, really pretty palette. Kind of want to do something red, kind of want to do something yellow, but for sure, let's go ahead and take this shade right here. Let's go. These names, y'all. If y'all just... This name, this lotus flower one, is we are going to take that and set, and set oh my gosh. Okay, so we're going to take the Lotus Flower shade and we're just gonna go ahead and set our primer down with that. Y'all know that that is something I do all the time, so pigmented. That is a pigmented eyeshadow. Ooh, it's super pigmented. That is very pigmented. Okay, so for the crease, I am going to take, for the crease, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with Yellow Mountain and just start blending that into the crease. I feel like if anybody creates a sh an eyeshadow look with these, they're all gonna be kind of similar, obviously, because everybody's using the same eyeshadow palette. But like to me, when I see a palette like this, I'm like I'm automatically drawn to like ooh, reds and yellows, reds, orange and yellows. I'll definitely have to play with this one more and do something a lot 
deeper and darker with like these purpley tones. Now what I wanna do is I really wanna take this shade right here. I really wanna take the shade Fortune right here and go ahead and start applying that. Ooh, or should I take Lantern? Um, Let's switch to Lantern. I'm gonna take Lantern first and start adding that into the crease. And I kind of wanna do a halo eye, so I'm gonna try to avoid like the center of my eye. It's pretty. Lantern is a pretty color. look so pretty already okay so i'm gonna take a more precise blending brush and what i want to do is now i want to go in to mandarin which is this one right here so i want to take the shade mandarin and we're gonna do the same thing but like keep it a little bit lower Sister just got here, so she'll probably be in here. Um, I need to, I accidentally put too much red right here, but that's okay. What I wanna do is, this is gonna be so cute. I'm gonna take firecrackers and I'm, you see how like it has like just that shift of red, yellow, green, or gold, green. I wanna take that on my finger and that's what I wanna apply to the center. Okay, so I feel like there's a whole lot of everything else coming through but red. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the shade Dynasty and just lightly tap that over where we put um, Firecracker. I feel like I got Christmas eyes <laughs> going on. They wrong for that. I didn't make the palette, they did. <laughs> okay, so going back in with Mandarin and we're just gonna start doing the blending around the edges. Maybe I shouldn't have added that extra red. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add some Emperor right here because I feel like I messed up by adding that extra red. And we're just gonna end up with all the glitters on our eye because why not? That's a lot, like I did a lot. Okay, we're already here, can't go back. And this is just Mandarin that I'm taking in the exact same spot just to deal with those edges. And now we're gonna go back in with Lantern. This look was so pretty in my head. And then we'll go back in with Yellow Mountain. Let's get some of that yellow back in there to tie in that one. Glitter is going everywhere. Definitely need a glitter glue for this glitter because I feel like this glitter goes everywhere. So I have this NYX Vivid Brights liner and this is in the color C Cyber Pop. And I was like, what am I gonna do with this? And then I was like, you know what, this would be real cute with nothing on the lid, a red wing liner and a red lip. But, wow. Okay, cause those don't match at all. Am I tripping? No, they really don't match. Okay. So anyways, I was gonna try to do like a wing with this, but since it doesn't look as vivid as I thought it was going to, let's see. Yeah, this is more orange than anything, and I thought that it was going to be like super duper red, and it's not. I was going to do a red wing, but I should have known because I should have known because I didn't even like their Vivid Brights eye pal eyeshadow palette. I don't know if you guys have seen the hype about this mascara, but this is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara. Pretty sure I did not order waterproof, but they sent me waterproof, so whatever. Let's go ahead and try it out. 
and this is just what it looks like. So this is their Last Sensational Sky High. I really liked their original Lash Sensational, so let's see how this does. All right, so first impression off of this, I think this is gonna be one of those mascaras you have to let dry out a little bit before you can really see how it does. It's a really, really, really wet formula. So now what I am gonna go ahead and do is go in with the lashes. You guys wanted me to use one of the pair of Lily lashes that I received. And so let's go ahead and get into these. This is the Style VIP. And so I'm gonna go ahead and pop these on you guys and then I will be right back and let you guys know like how the process was applying them and things like that. But yeah, I, these better be amazing because I don't pay no more than $10 for some lashes. So I did receive these lashes from Influencer and I actually also received a little sample of their lash glue. So that's also what I'm gonna test out today. You guys know I've been loving the Velour lash glue so let's see how the Lily Lash Glue is, and it's black. I don't like black lash glue. All right, you guys, so I got the lashes on, and let me tell you, lashes change everything. I feel like I don't look as Christmassy anymore. Do I look as Christmassy as before? Because I was looking a little Christmas ornament-y <laughs> there for a second. So yeah, I love how those eyeshadows, there's glitter everywhere. You need a glitter glue with them glitters. Like, these are not the Profusion glitters. You need a glitter glue. But let's go ahead and get in with a foundation. So I have the Il Maquillage Woke Up Like This foundation. And I have mine in the shade 60, 060. I really hate the number six. I've been seeing it a lot lately. I'm starting to wonder if I'm the devil. It's so candy. <laughs> No, I think I tried to watch. I think I tried to watch it, and it would not load for me. Really? It would not load. It's crazy because they have the for I know the plans I have for you. But tell me why they put the scripture as Jezebel. Jezebel six nine. I want to say is what it said. And she was like, it's so crazy. She's like, because then if you I can just tell me about it. She's like, then if you look at the price for this, she's like, it's six ninety nine. Six six six. Basically, with the two nines up, well, with the two sixes up. Well, nine seven. is always a stand-in for six, just so that way they can, just so that way they can put it in your face without putting it in your face. Anyways, I have this shade zero six zero. This is what it looks like, and this is what I was telling you guys. Um, I like it better with the sponge. It's good with the brush, but I still feel like you get more coverage with the sponge. But I was trying to tell you guys is that when I put this on, it's gonna look too light. But okay, this is making me a liar. It's my perfect shade. So, okay, see how it's drying down and now it looks too light? Sorry, y'all, it's gonna take me forever to blend out my foundation because all right here, it's sore. Like, really sore, so let's just hurry up. And I'll, and I'll talk after I blend. All right, you guys, so as you can see, I don't know if you guys could tell as I was blending it out that it seemed like it was gonna be a little bit too light for me. Like, I was looking a little bit ghostly, but Okay, we're gonna ignore this really red spot and look at this side. So it literally blends into my neck so seamlessly. Like I didn't come all the way down to my neck. I literally stopped right here at blending. And that color match quiz, you guys, is just like, mm, so good. So going back in with the concealer, like I said, I, I said I have the number zero two. Looks super white, you guys. Like this looks like stark white. Who did I think I was not grabbing a setting powder? And we are just gonna go ahead and blend this out. Sissy, can you get me a setting powder? Okay, so before we go ahead and go on with anything else, I have a highlighter and I have a cream blush. So you guys wanted to see this cream blush used on camera. If you guys wanna see the e.l.f. one, I used it in my my chit chat get ready with me which i used that in my chit chat get ready with me where i was just updating you guys as to where i've been and things like that and i feel like that blush kind of just disappeared off my skin but now we have this one and this one is in the shade coral crush which actually matches the eyes really good so we're just gonna take our finger 
and we're gonna dab it onto our cheeks. Feels so goofy today, and I think it's I'm finally like coming off of being drugged from my meds from my surgery. See, like this one does not blend away. I had to add a lot of the e.l.f. one in order for it to give me some kind of flush. I like this Milani one. I like it a lot. That is pretty. So pretty. So now for a highlight, I want to try this Milk Makeup Highlighter. And this is so ginormous. Like, I don't even think you should make cream highlighters this big. And we're just going to go ahead and push that up cap thing and I messed it up because it was so stuck to the top we're just gonna that's really natural and pretty like this would be good like if you just want to put on like some powder foundation and concealer like you put this on underneath it and it would bring through like that really really natural pretty glow yeah that's really cute I like that a lot these are gonna be great products for summer Okay, so now let's go ahead and set our face. I didn't have a setting powder, y'all. So I'm gonna go ahead and set really fast with my CoverGirl Clean Fresh powder. We are all good and set. So let's go ahead and finish up the eyes really quick. I went ahead and ordered the entire collection of these LA Girl Pastel Dream Auto Eyeliners. And this one is in the shade Sunshine. I got a pocket, got a pocket full of sunshine. I got a love and I know that it's all mine, no. Whoa. <laughs> Y'all know what that reminds me of? Easy A, <laughs> where she's in the shower <laughs> and she has her card. I need something that resembles a card. Well, she's like, okay, that's too heavy to be a card. Anyways, my hands will be my card. And she's like, I got a pocket, I got a pocket, I got a pocket. <laughs> that's what that song will always remind me of. Freaking Easy A. She gets so mad when she originally gets that card too, like, ugh, I hate this song. And it was like a whole five minute scene of her jamming out to that song in that card. So now I'm taking the shade that we had Fortune on. The brush, I'm sorry. I'm taking the brush that we had Fortune on and just gonna run that. No additional product, just whatever's on there. And then I'm taking the brush that we had Mandarin on and I'm gonna do the same thing. So now I'm gonna take the shade, is there a yin? Oh, yin and yang. I'm gonna take the shade yin right here and apply that to my inner corner. It's your food. Yeah, Xavier has your items. Okay. And then going back in with the Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara, we will quote, quote, coat at the bottom lashes. And then that's where you really see the magic happen is on my lower lashes. Cause these top ones don't matter anyways. And my lash is lifting. Okay, this ain't that bad. Like it's not that bad, but still. I still feel like that mascara needs to dry out a little bit. I really feel like it's way too wet for my liking. And so my sister was so nice and she sent me this. This is the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette. I love it so much. So I'm going to mix these two and start bronzing up my face. I would eat this if it wasn't makeup. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. And now, though, y'all, these are pigmented. Um, I haven't used a Too Faced bronzer contour in such a long time so that's bronzer so four blush these this is super pigmented like i was not expecting that let's, let's put this under our eye right here I feel like i got some things going on under my eyes aside from all the glitter fallout all right so now let's go in with love stories which is a new color pop blush and this one is really really pretty like really pretty and i haven't tried a color pop blush so this is exciting. Let's go ahead and take our blush brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and start applying it. That's a really pretty good blush. For highlight, my sister also sent me this Ofra Good To Go Mini Mix Palette. 
so <laughs> I have been dying to try an Ofra highlighter since before I ever started my YouTube channel just because you know Ofra used, used to be and still is like the thing like it's the it's just the company to go to for highlighters and it's just something that I've always wanted to try so I really like this because it has eyeshadows bronzer blush and highlight so I'm obviously gonna try the highlight today and let's see should I just swirl them all together oh my gosh this is so intense you guys this is insane like this highlighter is insane literally Okay, so now I am gonna go ahead and get a lipstick real quick. Okay, so I wanted to do something really brown, so obviously going in with, obviously I'll be going in with my dark brown lip liner from e.l.f. because I really wanted to do a dark, like a brown lip. And now I can't decide, I feel like this gloss would be a little too, pink right now so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this gloss from sugared cosmetics and i'll put the name on the screen i think it's vanilla glaze because i don't oh that's pretty might be vanilla cherry glaze so i smell the cherry and so to set down our brows we are going to try out the new wet and wild brow gel I'm trying to hurry so i'm trying to eat y'all with my sissy before she has to leave okay and this is their brow obsessive brow shaping gel this is white. This does not look clear. Look, this is supposed to be clear. That's not clear. Oh my gosh. Okay, not bad. Not bad after we got past that. Now to set every, we're gonna curl our lashes and then we're gonna set. Y'all, that highlight is like, what? So anyways, let's go ahead and set our face. I just don't like that spritzer. Like that is probably the most horrible spritzer I have ever tried. Let's take these bangs down. And hopefully they didn't get stuck like that. Oh, she cute, cute. Hold on. Sorry, y'all. Had to grab my chola earrings because she cute or whatever. So anyways, you guys, um, I really liked everything. I don't think that there was one thing that I just didn't like or didn't like just couldn't stand. So what well, only thing that I really have to say, you guys, is first of all. Oh, wait, no, there's something I didn't like. I didn't even use this, you guys, but this was already really dry. It does, it looks like this is red. This is not red. So that was a bummer because I really wanted to use it for, like I said, like a red wing and a really pretty red lip. So I'll have to keep trying it. Mind you, this is really dry for me to just have got it in the mail. Never have opened it or anything like that. And it already feels super dried out. My jaw starting to hurt from talking. And then this palette. The only thing blendable it's, it's very very blendable my only thing is you need a glitter glue for this i have other palettes where i can use the glitters in there and they don't fall out as much as these ones did so i highly recommend a glitter glue with these and i have to say i might become a believer in eyeshadow primers i mean i feel like it applied exactly the same on each eye i think i did Urban Decay over here and CoverGirl over here. But I feel like they both look exactly the same. So, I mean, you decide which one you want to buy. And then the brows came out great. Can't really see them because of my bangy bangs. But I do feel like my brows came out great. The coverage, okay. So, let me go ahead and give you guys a rundown on this because I did do the 14-day trial. Literally just came out of my bank account today because it was free and I did decide to keep it. I love this foundation. It's the most prettiest, most natural foundation that you could probably, it's not matte, but it's not dewy. It's it's truly a natural finish. Like it's not going to add oil and it's not going to take away oil. And the coverage is, I would say a light to full coverage because it really is that buildable. 
to where like if you do a couple of pumps you can get like an everyday coverage you do a few more pumps and you can get full coverage so yeah i really do like this the concealer is good i could have gone a shade up but i believe that they were sold out whenever i bought it so yeah this gloss from sugared cosmetics is super pretty super glossy and there is little specks of glitter in here but like you can't feel them and that's always a plus and so yeah everything else i really liked you guys again about the concealer concealer about the mascara i feel like this is going to be one of those formulas that you have to let dry out before you can experience it at its full potential and then the lashes i actually really like this these they were really easy to work with and i actually love how fast this little lash glue dries like i said i can't do the whole wait 30 seconds to a minute apply lashes like i need wait 10 to 15 seconds and apply lashes because that's just my personality and things like that highlight ob freaking cest bronzer a freaking cest so yeah you guys i love you guys but always remember that jesus loves you more let me know what colors you would like to see me play with in this palette next i feel like i would if i was out there with this eyeshadow look so yeah let me know what colors you guys would like to see me play with next i love you guys but always remember that jesus loves you more if you haven't already please go ahead and give me a thumbs up also be sure and hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys